Welcome to Kingdom Metalworks. So on this session, we're going to continue with the reverse curve. We're, we're going to continue rough shaping. So on the last video, I'll, we dressed this over, this area through here. We stretched it in the bag and then we dressed it up in the mandrel. And we got a relatively good shape. Let's see where we're at. So we're using a sweep again. And we're going to place a swoop, sweep right at the end to see, are we even close? So you can see we're a little bit off on that area there, which means the front needs to drop down a taddy. I'm bringing it onto the contour outside line and we're not fitting too bad at all in there. We come into the center and as you can see, that's how much we've dropped it over. So it's considerable. And then on this line here, we're doing the same thing. You can still see there's a slight drop over. So what we were talking about is trying to get this area here picked up because we have a gap in it and the gap is where we need to crown some shape in this. But before I crown the shape in it, what I'm going to do is give it the contour that it needs with this sweep, utilizing the line point where we should be. Instead of that being here, I want it to be over here. So I've got to drop that down and bring this up, which throws that over. And it's the same with the rear. So that's where we left off with our same position, same mark, same thing. That's what it's needed. So I'm going to do it in the, uh, in the urethane wheel. That way I can get really close to my reverse curve without marring the panel in the reverse curve area, utilizing the urethane wheel that's gently going to go through here because I've got to strike with the center of the wheel really close to the line. So let's wander over to the uh, urethane wheel and uh, little tips and tricks as you can see have the urethane wheel on i have the center of the die that i need which is a number four for the shape that we need it to be and i've marked a center line so that's the point of impact to the center of the wheel and i just did it with a sharpie and as you can see it's right in the center so now utilizing that i can come in real close so i'm going to start roughly in the center because i know everything else was in a, a good position and i'm gently going to run through the panel and work my way down to that area so now you can see where i've come down to this far and the top of the panel is getting too close to the frame of the english wheel so now i'm going to switch around so that now this part of the panel is on the outside Coming back into the same position as where I was, we're going to come back down and through. And I've got very light pressure on just to get the feel for the panel. I don't want it to go over too quickly. I do want it to go over, but it's all got to be controlled. And I'm following real close to my line. I'm going to up my pressure a little bit, just a taddy. As you can see, the band sometimes slips off a little bit, depending on how much curvature you're putting in the panel. Coming back in again. So because I left the urethane band on for a couple of, for a week, it, uh, it likes to go back to its original shape if you take it off the wheel. And because I didn't, it uh, now slips and rolls around a little bit, but we can work with that.
There we go. So as you can see, the panels come over considerably on this end, which is way too much. So I'm going to need to pick that back up. Let's see how this part of the panel has come in now. So I'll utilize the uh, lead shot bag just to uh, help me uh, get that back into shape without damaging it. Just got a little manipulation to go. You see how we're doing. We put a little bit of a hollow in it, but that's okay. We can pick it up in the wheel. So let's see where we are with our sweep and see if we've changed much. And the sweep is now coming in. Notice that it's fitting a lot closer now. This radius where my fingers are is almost touching. So you can see where we were way over here to make it shape right because I put more contour in through here with the uh, urethane wheel. Now it sits in its radius and it's sitting a lot closer. So now you can see that I need to put some shape all the way through here and bring that in. And to do that, I'm going to uh, work on the full size wheel. And I'm going to come in and do some shaping on that. Here we have the dial indicator. It shows me where my pressure is. We'll get some more pressure going so that we can shape up. So you can see now where I was saying, setting the panel with the urethane wheel means that this now doesn't damage anywhere in here, whereas before where it wasn't the right angle, I would have been damaging that panel. Up my pressure a little bit. Very methodical, panel's completely under control, a little bit more pressure, a little shaping to go on. Notice I'm running out of the end of the panel each time because I know that that end needs to be stretched up just a hair. A little bit more pressure. This is where we're nice and relaxed and just enjoying the go and flow of the English wheel. Putting our shape in. And I'm still roughing out, so I've still got a, a ways to go, but it's a process. So now I've put a little bit more shape through this section Let's see how we're doing with our profile again. As you can see, there's the reference line that I need to go to. And I'm sitting fairly good and now I have more shape in it, but because I used a flat top wheel to get more shape in, I lost the contour. So now I'm going to come back into the rubberized wheel to get that shape back in again.
may have two of these urethane wheels, the other one's down there. I might just switch out as soon as this one is a little bit on the stretch side because it's been sitting on the wheel for so long. So right now I'm just putting in more crown, pull that back over again. I'm doing long and shorts on my strokes. I'm knowing that it doesn't need as much at the back as it does in the front. And I'm trying to be very careful not to put stops and starts in it. So that we got a consistent flow through the panel with not too much damage. But like I said, we're still roughing out. So let's see where we are now with our just a couple of rubs on the wheel. You can see we brought it back in a lot closer. So now let's check our rear one and see where we are with that one. As you can see, the same thing is needed bring this up in through here and I'll sweep through here has got more crowning I'll sweep through here has more crowning and I'll sweep in here still needs a little bit which means I'm dropping this over which means I'm probably going to stretch a little bit more here just to throw that over but as you can see you can see change in shape of the panel and how it's starting to conform now to more of a go and flow by putting a little bit more increased pressure in here. So what I'm going to do now is change the band, take that off so that I can stretch with a flat top wheel. My full size wheel, I only have um, flat tops, but in this one, I have uh, all of the wheels have uh, full radius and flat tops depending on which one I'm using. So I'm going to gauge it up again. We're going to see where exactly do I need to put that extra shape in. So you can see I'm needing some more shape. But notice it sits really well in this radius area here. And all I've got to do is pick up this area here. So let's see how we do. I'm going to do long and shorts so that I can put some shape in the front because it needs more front uh, shape in the front than it does the rear. Checking my pressure. Don't want to do too much too soon and rib the whole panel, but at the same time, do want to put some shape in it. Like I say, we're still roughing out. I'm using a full radius wheel. I uh, already put a contour gauge on it, the uh, radius gauge, to find out what kind of shape I needed for that lower anvil. It was a number four. I could go to a number three that would punch up the shape a little bit more. So just so that you can see what I'm talking about, the lower anvil is a number four and it sits on that wheel actually it's number three that i do have in there and it's a number four that i need the contour to be 
coming in through here, you can see we have a number four through here, and I need to punch this up a taddy more. Let's see how we are with our shape. It all, all depends on the pressure on the wheel that you're utilizing. You could use a three, you can use a four, uh, but you just don't want to have too much pressure too soon coming in. So you can see where we're getting a little bit closer, and I haven't changed the back too, too much. Still needs a little bit more high crown through here, which I'll start rubbing, scrubbing the wheel through. But you can see the shape is starting to come in. So now it's just a process of keep on wheeling, keep on shaping to allow that to come in and through. So you can see the area that I need to pick up and the area that I need to pick up. And this area here has changed also. So you can see how by me just putting extra shape in through here has changed this panel all the way across. So now I can start wheeling and shaping to be able to put the shape in that I need. So anyways, if you like the information that uh, I gave you today, as you can see, the contour is starting to stand up a lot more through here. We put a little bit more crown through here. It's throwing over still. More shape to come in through here enjoyed the information hit that like button and uh, maybe subscribe bye for now